helicopter pilot was killed doing his job today. Investigators will be back at the scene tomorrow trying to figure out exactly what happened. Thanks for joining us. I'm Scott Wickersham. I'm Erica Bryant. We broke into programming earlier this afternoon when the crash happened near Highway 205 in Union County. This is just south of the Rocky River. Since then, anchor Genevieve Curtis talked to the neighbors and investigators out there. Everyone is stunned. It really was an unusual and tragic sight for neighbors and investigators in this community. Tonight, deputies have this crash site, which is far behind me, secured as they wait for national investigators to arrive tomorrow. And then they're getting ready for the next crop. So yeah, their crop dusting and spraying the fields. It's normal this time of year. In this quiet farming community of New Salem, neighbors expect to see land being prepared for next year's crops. He was actually spraying an herbicide in uh, the timber. But routine work ended in a devastating way. Investigators believe the pilot was flying low to the ground, maybe only 30 to 35 feet above. And apparently he got too low and became entangled in a power line. Um, and unfortunately, the, the helicopter went straight to the ground. The view from our own chopper shows the wreckage, the mangled metal, this power line that took the pilot and helicopter down along this tree line. The cabin area where the uh, pilot was sitting is still somewhat intact, um, but it is broken into pieces. Neighbor Julia York has lived here her whole life and can't recall an accident like this. Today, everyone started calling each other. Which is scary because I grew up in a farm. I'm from a farm, so that's scary because I know the you know the people from around here. So it worries you because you don't know who it is. Investigators say the pilot was from Florida and had a partner working on the ground in the field. They were a contract company out of Florida, um, and apparently they go all over the East Coast doing contract jobs such as the one behind me. Dozens of various agencies responded to the crash but weren't able to save the pilot. It's very sad, it's very tragic, especially when he was doing a job and uh, just accidentally got entangled in the power lines. Now we understand the pilot's family has been notified in Florida, so his name will be released soon. Meanwhile, investigators with the NTSB will be here tomorrow. They're arriving from D.C. and will conduct a thorough investigation into this crash. Back to you. Again, count on Channel 9. We're going to be following every new development in the story, a lot of which will come out tomorrow. Download our WSOC app to get these updates sent directly to your phone.